Elon Musk has had a rough end to the year 2022, as he's now the first person in history to lose $200 billion of net worth. But that's not the full story. Most of Elon's wealth is tied to Tesla, and this unprecedented loss has come due to the rapidly falling Tesla stock. Since peaking at $1.2 trillion, Tesla is now valued at $340 billion. But why is Tesla doing badly in the stock market? One explanation that has gained popularity in recent weeks is that most of these losses are due to Musk's focus on Twitter. Ever since he got interested in the Twitter takeover, Tesla has lost almost 70% of its value. So what is going wrong at Tesla? Is Elon Musk hurting his most prized asset? Or are there other factors for the falling stock? Let's find out. What's happening with Tesla? Towards the back end of 2021, Tesla looked unstoppable. The $1.2 trillion valuation in November was greater than the next 12 automakers combined. While legacy automakers struggled with supply chain issues, Tesla took advantage of its software and gained an upper hand. All of a sudden, Tesla was being compared to tech giants like Apple and Microsoft instead of vehicle companies like Toyota and Mercedes. However, things changed in 2022. Tesla's trillion-dollar valuation quickly disappeared, and the downward trend kept going throughout the year. By the end of the year, Tesla's stock had plummeted by over 70%, and the company is now valued at levels last seen in 2020. While this net worth is still greater than rival automakers, it is far smaller than the tech titans Tesla was being compared to just a year ago. As a result, Tesla had multiple layoffs and a hiring freeze while the company's stock is predicted to fall further in the first quarter. Concerns over Tesla's value are mounting, and the company's investors are not happy. Many significant investors have called for accountability, and most of them put the blame squarely on a major acquisition from Elon Musk in 2022. Elon Musk started talking about a Twitter takeover back in April. Critics of the world's second richest person believe that Musk has been distracted from that point on. The Twitter takeover finally happened in October, and Elon Musk had to pay $44 billion for it. Since most of Musk's wealth is tied up with Tesla stocks, he sold his shares in the company to finance the Twitter deal. But it wasn't a one-time thing. Being the biggest Tesla stakeholder, Elon Musk sold $23 billion worth of Tesla stock in 2022. The selling spree shattered investor confidence, and Tesla stock took a hit. Investors started questioning these sales and took issue with Elon Musk using Tesla as his personal ATM machine. But the money is just one aspect of the problem. More and more people have started taking issue with Elon Musk's constant engagements as Twitter CEO. Ever since the change of guard, Twitter has been plagued by problems. Mass layoffs, big companies leaving the platform, and the Twitter blue fiasco has kept Musk occupied over the last few months. Tesla shareholders are worried that Musk is distracted by Twitter and has abandoned the world's biggest EV manufacturer. Tesla's third largest shareholder, Leo Koguan, echoed the thoughts of many observers when he tweeted that, Tesla needs and deserves to have a working full-time CEO. He also called for the company's board to perform shock therapy to resuscitate stock price and asked Musk to buy back the shares sold. Elon Musk at the helm of affairs at Twitter is not sitting well with a significant audience and in a poll initiated by Elon Musk himself, 57% of over 17 million respondents asked him to step down as company CEO. Tesla enthusiasts are also showing concern over Elon Musk's regularly partisan takes on American politics. While Elon Musk has been a staunch advocate for freedom of speech, some of his takes as the face of Tesla can potentially hurt the Tesla brand. The problems around Musk's lack of focus on Tesla are compounded further when we take a closer look at the issues confronting the company. The problems at Tesla. In addition to falling stock performance, Tesla is also facing criticism over delays in launching many of the company's promised products. Despite promising self-driving cars in 2016, Tesla is nowhere near delivering on that promise. Elon Musk has repeatedly floated two-year timelines for the technology to mature, but it has not materialized yet. Instead, customers are now suing Tesla to attain refunds for self-driving systems that they paid for in advance. The focus of the investigation is whether Tesla has engaged in false advertising around self-driving claims. The investigation might linger on in 2023, but the truth of the matter is that even when equipped with a $15,000 FSD package, a Tesla car can't drive by itself. Tesla has also faced numerous delays in rolling out updates and launching new vehicles like the Cybertruck and the Tesla Semi. As a result, Tesla now has an aging fleet while EV rivals around the world are adding newer options to their lineups. Tesla's biggest selling vehicle, the Model Y Crossover, 
has been on the market since January 2020. The Model 3 sedan was launched in late 2017, while the Model S was rolled out in 2012. These products have had a few changes over the years, but have not evolved beyond a certain point. With no new models to speak of, Tesla's share of the EV market has also declined in the past 122 months. Though it is still the biggest EV manufacturer, Tesla's market share has gone down from 80 to 65 percent. But the future can be even worse with rivals quickly catching up and Tesla finding it difficult to get rid of the delays. If Tesla does not get back on track, its share of the market may drop as low as 20% by 2025. With so many things to take care of, the last thing Tesla needs is an increasingly distracted and unpopular CEO. This seems to be the case as Tesla's overall favorability has dropped significantly since Musk purchased Twitter. Is it all Elon Musk's fault? Amid growing concerns over Musk's commitment to Tesla, it must also be recognized that the EV maker's problems go beyond its CEO. Just like many other global manufacturers, Tesla has suffered due to China's stringent COVID-19 policies. Production delays remained a common theme for the outgoing year, while the company also struggled to ramp up production at new facilities in Texas and Berlin. As far as the stocks go, Elon Musk has blamed the Federal Reserve's increase in interest rates. Musk believes that people are increasingly moving their money out of stocks into cash for the fears of recession, causing stocks to drop. Similar fears have been echoed by Musk repeatedly over the last 12 months. He has previously told consumers that the upcoming economic halt will impact homes and cars disproportionately. Falling electric vehicle sales can also be tied to the risk of recession amid the fallout from the pandemic and a choked supply chain. Moreover, Tesla is coming out of a year of uncertainty where it was just one of the many companies to initiate layoffs. Big firms like Goldman Sachs, PepsiCo, Morgan Stanley, and Amazon have all been in the same boat. It's also important that tech stocks globally have lost trillions of dollars in value this year. Some of these losses were due to a drop in consumer demand, while some of it is a correction from the inflated numbers observed the year before. Even the biggest Tesla proponents acknowledge that Tesla wasn't at a stage to be valued at over a trillion dollars in 2021. At one point, Tesla was worth more than the 12 largest automakers on the planet, despite having lower sales and much lower profits than most of them. Tesla has also faced fierce competition from companies at home and abroad. It is no longer the main electric vehicle on the market, and many rivals in Europe and China have forged a market of their own. So a drop in sales was a natural outcome of the competition. However, despite the new realities, not everything is bleak in the Tesla camp. The good part. Elon Musk's Twitter takeover has become a major talking point amid Tesla's drop in performance on the stock market. However, investors will only care about Twitter if Tesla stops selling cars in the long run. But with newer models around the corner and an expanding network of gigafactories, it is hard to see a sustained drop in sales. As for Twitter, many commentators see it as a way to elevate Tesla's reach and brand value. Elon Musk endorses this opinion and has claimed that Twitter will benefit Tesla shareholders in the long term. While he hasn't revealed exactly how that happens, we know that plans for Twitter are huge. Musk envisions it as the app for everything and refers to it as Project X. He's also made an effort to alleviate concerns about distractions caused by Twitter. Just a month after completing the Twitter purchase, Musk confirms that he will reduce his time at Twitter and find a suitable replacement to run the company. Tesla also has elaborate plans to fortify sales and ensure profits in 2023. Its production capacity is also guaranteed to ramp up and is also exploring venues for the latest Tesla Gigafactory. Meanwhile, the U.S. government is also on a drive to encourage a transition to electric vehicles. As the leader in the EV market, Tesla is set to benefit greatly from the Inflation Reduction Act passed by the Biden administration. But the biggest advantage of all for Tesla is its software. With a backlog of millions of miles of data, Tesla still has the edge when it comes to fully self-driving technology. The EV infrastructure at Tesla is also superior to some of its rivals, especially its network of over 40,000 chargers around the world. Tesla has also invested heavily in battery technologies, and its latest 4680 cells are close to taking over the market. A lot of rivals are just getting started in places where Tesla has already established a sizable lead. So whatever happens, Tesla and Elon Musk will be confident of making a comeback in 2023. But to ensure a swift return to glory, Elon Musk needs to confront some of the pressing issues very soon. From the evidence of the last few months, it's clear that the investors are frustrated and want Elon Musk to move away from Twitter. He also needs to recognize that Tesla consumers would not want to be associated with his political antics. People want to own a cool car without being scapegoated for it. 
and Tesla does provide some of the coolest cars around. All it needs in 2023 is to get a proper CEO, and for Tesla's sake, it has to be Elon Musk himself.